Okay, well, even with clear skies, the aftermath of this storm is not over. The National Weather Service says multiple rivers across the state were still reaching peak flood stage well into today, and the historical flooding could get worse for some areas into tomorrow. So far, numbers show rainfall was heaviest in northern New Jersey. Parts of Bergen, Essex, and Passaic counties saw 8 to 10 inches come down in just a matter of hours. More than 10 inches in Sussex Borough of Sussex County, roughly 9 inches reported in southern Hunterdon County and parts of Middlesex and Mercer. Somerset County, where major rivers are still cresting, 8 inches of rain there, just staggering across the board. And as the governor noted today, devastating storms like this are becoming more frequent and arriving with greater intensity. To get a grasp on it all, we turn to Anthony Broccoli, co-director of the Rutgers Climate Institute. Professor Broccoli, we're talking about the heaviest single day totals of rainfall for a lot of areas in the state. Were you surprised by the pace of this storm? It was remarkable. We were expecting heavy rains as a result of the moisture from the remnants of Hurricane Ida. But uh, getting six to nine inches of rain across a wide swath of uh, central New Jersey was uh, certainly not uh, what I expected. Uh, my, my expectations would have been locally, uh, perhaps amounts in that range, but not over such a large area. I mean, we just had a significant weather event with the remnants of Hurricane Henri. Um, what was different between the two? It seems like officials here and in the tri-state were caught off guard by this. Well, first of all, uh, we did get more rain uh, in a short period of time with Ida yesterday than we did with Henri. Henri was, was very wet, uh, produced a lot of rain in, in New Jersey. Some places received as much as we got yesterday with Ida. But the rain from Ida came in a much more concentrated fashion. Uh, here at our weather station in New Brunswick, we had something like five inches of rain in about four hours. And so uh, that was mirrored in other places around the state, and that made the impacts worse. What role, uh, and I'm sure that everyone's thinking about this, asking you about this today, what role does climate change play here, Professor? Well, events like this happen when a lot of ingredients come together in just the right way. Uh, climate change adds a little bit more to that list of ingredients. A warmer atmosphere can contain more moisture. And um, of course, when that moisture comes together, uh, triggered by a storm like Ida, uh, that's what, what produces very, very heavy rain. And we've seen evidence uh, from observations that these heavy rain events are getting more intense, uh, happening more frequently. And some of that is associated with climate change. How much? That's a question that will require more research in the coming days, but there are ways of, of getting at those answers. I mean, I think I've heard folks, yourself included, say it this way, climate change, it's now. You know, it's not something of the future. We've got uh, Governor Murphy today talking about bringing dollars here to build up our resiliency infrastructure. Is that the way forward when we're talking about events becoming more significant, more severe, like you said? The, the way to deal with climate change is gonna require us to both try to reduce the causes of climate change, the emission of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, but also to adapt to the effects of climate change. Because as you said, climate change is something that has already been happening. It's happening now and uh, changing our sources of energy isn't, isn't something that can be done instantaneously. So there will be more changes in climate in the future and becoming more resilient, moving infrastructure out of harm's way, uh, trying to be better prepared for events like this is something we will need to do. All right, Anthony Broccoli, uh, thanks for your time. I hope you stay safe, I really appreciate it. My pleasure, thank you.